Hello, my name is Mustafa. Uh, some time ago, I recorded this uh, YouTube video. You can see the link here uh, that shows how to use the cohesive uh, behavior between two surfaces using the interaction uh, property. And uh, when I explained how you will need to, to trick Abacus somehow so that it can accept this uh, type of interaction. Uh, here, I will show you how to solve the same problem uh, using cohesive elements rather than the cohesive uh, interaction uh, properties. So let us put this aside and then uh, show you how to do this. So what I have here is uh, a part, uh, I called it, it's just a block one, uh, that's part here, block one, that's a, a solid part, and I have here uh, some kind of elastic material that I created and I assigned the material to this part. Because we will create cohesive elements. It means that we have to create another material so that we can assign it to these cohesive elements. And this is shown here, that's a cohesive. If we edit it, uh, you see that uh, it has the uh, various uh, properties of uh, this sort of, uh, of cohesion. I will, I, will, I will show you how to do this, although I will not I don't have to save it because it's already saved. So if we go to create here, say that's uh, let's call it um, cohesive material, something like that. So we go to mechanical uh, elasticity, and then we choose elastic, and this will be traction type material. And the, you start inputting here these various quantities. Uh, here, just uh, those are just uh, uh, fudged numbers here. And uh, you can add to this the kind of failure that you expect for the traction separation laws. Uh, that's uh, one example here. Uh, you put uh, values uh, for the normal stress in uh, in the first direction, second direction. That's related to uh, fracture mechanics thing. And you can add damage evolution using energy. Most of, most majority of people use this kind of, uh, and then you talk about the type of degradation and uh, and uh, the mode dependent people use this BK thing and they put here this, uh, the power parameter. I put the values, another values here, and then you basically end up creating this material. Say, okay, uh, this is how you create the uh, cohesive uh, material. The, it's, it's elastic. Um, you have you have to uh, specify the type of damage and also the evolution of damage. Like I said, I will not save this because I have already got it here under this cohesive. And again, I'm using here also uh, just materials. Uh, I added here obviously the uh, elastic parameters and the density because I am using uh, Abacus uh, dynamic module explicit uh, in 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 this case. So. That's block one. Uh, what we will do here to create the cohesive uh, interface, uh, but but let me let me let me copy this one first. So just just to copy this and we call it block two. So I will have uh, another uh, instance of this. Uh, so when I choose block one, uh, I can go to um, block one or block two it's block one so let us go to the property uh, we already assigned them assign the material here that's not really big deal uh, so if we go to uh, the mesh for this uh, I can basically now see this and then I can mesh this part uh, if we have intention to use this surface here, that surface that's facing us in that direction. If we have the intention to use this as the cohesive surface, these are the procedures to follow. So just pay attention here. And this has to be done on the on the mesh itself. Basically, we will stack in this direction a new layer, very thin layer, could be of zero thickness to represent the cohesive elements. Like this, you go to mesh, you go to edit, and then mesh, and then you, see, you go to offset, create solid layers. So it means that we will create something uh, solid, offset from solid, uh, 
and here you go you choose by angle it enables you to choose all this surface and say done total thickness is zero and then we create a set of new elements and we can call this anything I will, I will say that's surface one say surface one uh, this way I have created as you can see here now I have a green layer that's done that's done I have a green layer here too that, that will represent the cohesive interface uh, I will need before I forget to go and specify the type of element for this uh, interface cohesive elements layer so you go to mesh element type and then we go to sets we see the surface one at surface one continue and then that's cohesive and you can use other parameters for the uh, our glass etc but here at psyche okay. that's dismiss I'm happy now and you can see here that if we test this test tool uh, tools query element if we choose this one here it tells you that it is a cohesive type element for this interface that's a beautiful uh, so we are in a good shape so far uh, what we need to do is to basically create a section so that we can assign this section to this layer that we've just created. Uh, currently, we have only one section that's for the part, solid part itself. So we will create a new one and this has to be cohesive. So you choose other, you go cohesive and let us call it that's cohesive section. And then we say material is cohesive we choose cohesive and the response is traction uh, out of plane thickness if you like so say i have three uh, two millimeter here uh, because my unit is in meter so i say okay so now i created a section i need to assign this section so and then continue and then i choose this cohesive section and behold we have already now assigned uh, the uh, cohesive material to this layer that we have created so we are now in good shape to start assembling let us see when we assemble so we have block one that's a block one that came nicely with the uh, layers of cohesive uh, a layer of cohesive element and I can bring uh, block two uh, let's just uh, sorry that's this one here and then this one and then we say okay uh, so what remains is basically to uh, bring these together so I will translate I will translate this one here uh, and I can choose uh, let me just put it in this this way so I will take this one here and let us see whether it will come here nicely uh, we are in good shape so as you can see now we have actually these two blocks uh, nice and in contact via this green layer here so I have already created a step uh, and let us see the loads that we can apply so here I have boundary conditions see the edit boundary condition because this was from all the stuff I will just like reassign the surface so uh, we can choose this to fix uh, so we'll go geometry choose this one here done and then in caster so uh, I have fixed the space the load I'm applying is here boundary condition edit again this from all the stuff that's fine so let's go to the surface uh, dismiss so I have geometry here and I will choose this surface done and I'm applying 100 millimeter in the Y direction over an amplitude here over um, I chose I remember 0.1 second we can see it in a, in a minute dismiss so this what will happen so these two blocks will move with respect to each other uh, through this vertical movement here uh, uh, let us see the uh, amplitude uh, the intention is not the amplitude or, or how fast it is but it's amplitude here that's equally spaced uh, over 0.1 of uh, a second fixed interval here 
So now I think I'm in a position to uh, create my job. I created a job here called say, run tube. So uh, uh, that's that's fine. You can just to show you how to do it in case you don't know that. That's run tube. Say uh, continue. Okay. So I am ready now to apply my uh, to run my job. Hopefully we will not find any error here. So say submit. Uh, the following part instances are not meshed. Okay, so apparently we have not meshed uh, one part. So part, let's see, uh, this part is not actually a block, block two also. Uh, so uh, let's go to mesh. At, I think it is talking about, about block two. Uh, so this one here is 0 0.05 apply, and then we can mesh it. Say yes. Uh, so hopefully now we will not see this error. Let us see how it goes. Uh, monitor. Okay, we started to get some results here, um, meaning we are on the right track. So I'll pause until this the whole thing is complete, and then we will I'll come back to you um, straight away. Okay, so the analysis is complete now. Uh, I ran it over 0.2 seconds. So let's let's close this one and uh, see the results. Uh, here is the output file at one step, and I have 21 frames. So all, all looks good. So let's see what will happen here. Okay, that's beautiful. Uh, so this is animation. This is the problem. And uh, you can see here that this can represent some sort of uh, what happens to the to the interaction. Uh, uh, the one mice stress and the deformation, etc. So hopefully you find this useful and uh, you can apply whatever load and see the delamination, etc. for this kind of, of, of things if you have um, like like uh, fiber. Uh, reinforcing material for example or, or against a solid with with a glue in between and you just manipulate it uh, the way you like thank you